How everybody doing, man? Consistency, man. Consistency is key. Uh, I'm going to talk about consistency real quick, man. You're not getting changes because you're not buying the right supplements. You're, you're not getting changes not because you're not buying the right foods, not because you're not doing the right exercises to target that specific lag, lagging muscle that you're trying to improve or bring up, not because you're not uh, not doing enough cardio, not because you're not getting up doing empty stomach your cardio, not because you're not drinking green tea, not because you're not doing your apple cider vinegar, not because you're not drinking enough water, this, this, and that. The reason you're not seeing changes is because you're not consistent. You're not dedicated. That's the truth. That's God honest truth, man. Uh, I get questions, a lot of questions, man. And, and actually, let me go back. When I used to be a personal trainer before I was a truck driver, the first question I would ask uh, my potential clients or actually clients that I trained, let me say that. I have an eye for this thing, for physical fitness, for body cosmetics, let me say that, man. Because uh, I used to do bodybuilding shows and I have an eye for improvements. I can look somebody that I've trained, been dealing with forever in the day and I can tell if they gained weight lost weight got a cut the indentation this I can look at the body and tell if they have been consistent and and they'll be like you know with my contracts it'll say you know that you know your all sales are final and uh Larry Hennix will not be responsible if you're not seeing changes if you're not seeing results due to lack of being consistent in your diet due to lack of being inconsistent with your water intake Plenty of rest, blah, 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 blah. And I would get people coming to me talking about, oh, I ain't seeing changes. You told me this and this, this. And I'm looking at them like, dude, you look the same as you did when we first started. So I know you ain't eating right. I know it's, it's stress going on. I know it's this, unless you got a thyroid problem or something like that. That's understandable if you got a health issue that requires you to take medicine to help speed your metabolism or if you just whatever the case. But if you just plain inconsistent, you're obviously not gonna get results. So it takes consistency. I'm, I'm, I'm not making it seem like this is me, but I'm just telling you guys that you have to be consistent in what the fuck you're doing. Now I'm gonna try to prevent from cussing. It's gonna take consistency. I'm consistent in my shit. I get up, man, at 0300 in the morning, 2.33 o'clock, okay? After this video, I'm hitting my bunk. Hit my pit. I'm gonna take my damn BCA. I do a BCA and glutamine before I go to bed every night, uh, to help go to flush the go through my body to help uh, just to condition my muscles to keep and stuff like that to flow throughout the system while I'm asleep. I'll sleep for about six hours. Six hours is all I need. I'll get up at about two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. Shit, shower, do what I need to do. Get hit the road. It's a pee up the road up the road here, probably nine miles away, around the corner. Boom, right there, um, in Indiana. I go to PF. Get on the on the stepper. I'll I'll stay on there for about 10, 15 minutes of warm up. Then I'll commence the lifting weights, doing what I do, and then I might do some more cardio right in there. And I'm consistent with that. I do that all the time. That's why I see. That's why Larry sees results. That's why I see changes because I'm consistent and dedicated toward what I'm doing. And y'all can, you know, the thing is also, man, is like as drivers, as truck drivers. Trust me, man. I understand. I I totally get it. I understand that you're gonna resort to comfort food. That you're gonna be stressed. Dispatches down your neck. Asking if you got to the old one or ninety. Uh, arguing with your feuding with your girl. Girl feuding with your man. You ain't had no ass. You ain't got this this whatever. It's human nature. We all gonna you know. I don't even call it a slip. Do your cheat meal. Do your little damn cheats. I do my cheats. I do two two a week, man. You know I do a hardest cheeseburger. Um, I, I might do uh, some fries, a slice, a piece of from some bar roll or, or, or one of these truck stops, a pilot piece of piece of slice, slice piece from pilot, a can of soda. And when I get dizzy, when I get nauseous, when I get lethargic, I know I'm low on carbs, low on sugar. I, you need that. It's 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 tough. But what helps you is to get them cheats in there. You got to get those cheats in there, man. Get a cheat in, preferably. Depending on your metabolism every seven to ten if you just starting out in physical activity if you just starting to lose weight You really don't want no cheats. You want to really try to build your metabolism up for maybe two weeks to uh, maybe a month And y'all be like man ain't no damn way I'm gonna be able to go a month without a cheat meal at least two weeks to a month And once you get your your, your conditioning your fitness down level down once you get more consistent with your cardio with your, with your weight training with your diet then you can implement cheat meals in there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a, a chicken box, three-piece three strip, five-piece strip from Popeyes with a biscuit and, and an orange soda. 
that's just fine. But you got to get consistent with your training and your regimens, your, your water intake. And also, man, I'm going to say this. is like we also, and I don't mean to sound the harp off like I'm the bad guy because I've been told I'm the bad guy. But if you ask me an honest question, I'm going to give you an honest motherfucking answer. We look for crutches. Yeah, I said it. We look for crutches. We look for reasons to quit doing what it is we're doing. We look for reasons to, to forget why we started what the fuck it is we started. We did this for a reason. We started this, this, this lifestyle for a purpose and for a reason. So don't look for crutches. Oh, my, my girl the, 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 is sleeping with, with another dude. My, 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 my husband then left me. Uh, my dispatch will drive me nuts. I'm this, I'm that, I'm whatever the case. Life, hey man, that's life, bro. Uh, I'm going through a, a bag of shit my damn fucking stuff. But that don't stop dudes with a motivated dudes with a truck from fucking handling this motherfucking business. I'm going to get my regardless, any means necessary, whether if you were with me or from by myself. Consistency is the motherfucking key. This is Diesel right here, guys. Thank you guys so much. Get cracking, get motivated, get inspired, man. Hope I can help somebody out there, man. Y'all take it to be cool and trust in consistency because it is the key in all things that you do, man. Diesel motivation.